One of the more resourceful ideas was from Rocket Plane Limited of Oklahoma. For Chuck Lauer, one of the company's founders, this was more than just a race for space. For me, it's, it's, it's a corny saying, but it really is a, a calling. It, it's something that I feel that I have to do. Rocket Plane's plan to win the X Prize wasn't to build a spaceship from scratch, but modify a plane that had been around for the last 40 years, a Learjet. The choice of the Lear 25 fuselage is uh, uh, its a practical solution. It saves us about a year in build time versus a complete uh, fresh structure. It also takes advantage of the, of the Lear's legacy. The, uh, the original plane was designed as a strike fighter. And it's also really cheap. We, the, you can buy a, a, a perfectly good uh, a Learjet for half a million dollars, including the engines and everything else we need. So we're buying the entire vehicles for less than the cost of the kit parts. The state of Oklahoma were believers and invested about $18 million in the idea. Lara had big plans to turn this former Air Force base into a terminus to the final frontier. We're standing on the control tower of a former Strategic Air Command base. This was B-52 city killers meant to go bomb cities in Russia back in the mutual assured destruction Cold War days. What we're doing here is turning it into a 21st century spaceport. Removing and replacing that little underside... Before the spaceport could open, Rocket plane needed a spaceship, a spaceship that existed only in computer designs, models, and wind tunnels. You, you actually can read this like, uh, like... We're taking it all the way down to the bare metal. We're putting a complete new wing on it. We're rebuilding the entire tail structure in order to accommodate the rocket thrust loads. So uh, we're, we're doing a lot to it. To the baseline design. 